since humankind exists, it has been one of the essential problems to get pregnant at the moment when child seeking have become reality. Mostly, normal fertile couples will conceive within 12 months when there is regular intercourse without contraception. Referring on several WHO studies, it can be estimated that about 50 million couples worldwide were unable to have a child after five years. Let's first have a look on the history of gonadotropins. Gonadotropin injections for ovarian stimulation were introduced in modern fertility treatment in the 30s of the last century. Gonadotropins were first prepared from different animal sources. All these animal preparations had to be withdrawn because of detected antibody formation against natural human pituitary gonadotropin. Since 1958, gonadotropins were extracted from pituitary glands of human cadavers, HPG, but they had to be withdrawn when cases of iatrogenic Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease were detected. The first human menopausal gonadotropin preparation produced by isolation and purification from cute extracts of large urine pools of postmenopausal women was registered in 1950 and in 1963 introduced into clinical use as Pergonal 75, a preparation with 75 international units of FSH and 75 international units of LH per ampoule, but with a tolerated variance of minus 20% up to plus 25%, measured by a standard bioassay. While in the early HMG preparations, more than 95% of all proteins included were impurities in the highly purified preparations of today, the rate of impurities is only about 30%. After the disaster with HPG, every endeavor has been made first to purify urinary gonadotropins and then to produce gonadotropins by biotechnical production processes in order to achieve a greater safety for the patients. So the first pure human FSH, folytropin alpha, produced by recombinant DNA technologies was licensed in Europe 1996. A further big step forward to more accuracy and more safety of gonadotropin has been done by the fact that folytropin alpha, due to the high specificity and purity, can be filled by mass with a very small variance of plus minus 2% only and quantification is no more performed as in the urinary gonadotropins or other recombinant FSH preparations by the more imprecise bioassays with the variability of minus 20% up to plus 25%. Only with a precise gonadotropin, as it is now available with the filled by mass quantifying method, exact individualized ovarian stimulation is possible. So it was a logical step, and in consequence of the fact that gonadotropin treatment has become more and more a self injection procedure to develop PEN devices as they were known since long time in the treatment of diabetes with its insulin. The efficacy in comparison to the quite more cumbersome 
handling with ampules and syringes has been proven very quickly when in a randomized study the efficacy and convenience of a folytropine beta pen device was compared with conventional syringes in women undergoing ovarian stimulation. In two further studies, two folytropine injection pens were compared. One pen was a multiple-use device rechargeable with premixed pre-filled cartridges with folytropine beta filled by bioassay in different dosages, and the other is a disposable pre-filled drug delivery system of multiple and variable doses of liquid formulation of folytropine alpha filled by mass. In the first study, the women favored the pre-filled disposable device and declared the preparation faster and were more confident of accurate dosing. Less time was needed to read the training manual to prepare the daily injections and the patients were more confident that the right dose has been administered. Also recent studies with the third gener generation of a redesigned folytropine alpha pen showed that a great majority of patients and nurses prefer this new pen with new and improved features. Now 12.5 international unit steps are possible for individualized controlled ovarian stimulation. This new pen shows a dose display window with a magnifying glass to enlarge the dosing number and showing only the selected preset dose, the return of the dose reading to zero after injection of the full prescribed dose or information on how much residual dose is required with the second pen if the full dose has not been administered and disposed also over a fully transparent cartridge container with graduated markings to assist the user in determining the approximate amount of the product left in the pen. The folytropine alpha filled by mass pre-filled pen creates a high level of confidence through its ease of handling in terms of dose preparation and lower potential for making errors compared to other injection procedure. It represents an accurate, ready-to-use device which is an easy, simple and nearly pain-free method for the delivery of gonadotropins in controlled ovarian stimulation. It allows precise and individualized dosing. This pen represents a clear movement toward better quality of treatment and so also better quality of life for the women within this stressful period.